hey guys welcome back to the channel and i'm back with another tutorial so in our last one we finished the model for this tower and today we are going to unwrap this in maya so i'm going to start with this body i'm going to isolate it and uh, open my uv editor and i'm going to go to create and automatic and let's see if it works so this worked pretty much good now i'm going to take this shell and select the side edges and then use move and sew to attach all the parts so we have to keep repeating this step until we have created the entire uv move and sew So this shell is completed and as for this one so this is the top and this is the bottom faces of this part so I'm going to select these two make sure they are properly unwrapped so I'll just either use the planner mapping uh, with the projection from Y axis or we can select both of them and then unfold and see if they are properly unwrapped this one needs some rotation so i'll just change the orientation i'll select both of them and put them here for now as for this one i'll just select a uh, edge on the side and then move and sew like this Press G to repeat the command. Now you can select this and unfold like this. You can also use this straighten UVs to straight the UVs and I think we are good to go. We can just rotate this now and select everything then layout. Turn on your checkers and see if there is any stretching in your UVs so everything looks fine. Now we are going to unhide everything and work on the other parts. So let's select this, isolate it, go to create and camera base mapping. We can select the faces like this. Go to create planner mapping and they are facing the Z axis. So I'm going to project from Z and apply. Then you can fold and I'll just fix the rotation like this. Same thing here. And as for this part, I'm going to unfold. And this one also unfold. Now, rotation, change it by using orient shell. Same for this one. Now I'm going to lay out like this. So everything is unwrapped. 
now you can create the uv of this one and then transfer it on this one i have already made a tutorial on this so you can check that out by clicking on the i button and you'll find all the videos or you can just simply select this duplicate it and place it here now as for the window and this part so this is simply a cube so i'm going to go to create and use automatic mapping and then select the edges and use move and sew like this to the unattached edges I'm going to put them in a layout. As for this window, I'm going to select this and go to create, then camera based mapping. And I'm going to select the faces like this. And we can go to create planner mapping project from x axis because these faces are facing x axis apply you can fold like this and orient shell you can also cut them like this and as for this face i'll just select the edges then move and sew and unfold this and orient shell lay out them we need to rotate this one so i'll just rotate it like this as for these parts what i'll do i'll just select these two edges and these ones like this then cut unfold this one and this one as for this we can select these four edges to create the seam and if i unfold this then it's going to unfold perfectly we just need to add one more cut like this and let's see now as for the outer part i'll just unfold it and it's going to come out very nicely again orient shell like this now uh, for this part what we can do is we can select this entire thing and this one then cut place this here and this one here so if i unfold this it's not going to work out so i'll just select this edge and cut then unfold and now it's good to go then for this part what we have to do we just need to unfold this and i think we are fine so our window is unwrapped i'm going to select everything then layout as for this one you can hold in shell like this then for this one rotate it place it here we can place here we can change the layout later so i'll just turn on the checkers and see if it unwrapped properly
Now, as for this box, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to unwrap just one, and then you can repeat the same process for all the other parts. So, as for this one, I'll just go to create and use automatic mapping. Select the side edges, move and sew. Like this. Now select the entire shell and unfold. And we are done. Select this, then layout. Turn on the checkers. Everything looks fine. I can repeat this process on all three panels. Same for all these parts. I'll just select these. Go to select, uh, create and camera based. Oh, sorry. Go to automatic. And then start doing the sides like this. Then unfold and layout. And again, repeat the same process on all sides. As for this, this is a simple cube. So again, go to create automatic and just sew the sides, select the edges on the side and move and sew and then just unfold and lay out. For the top, select it. Go to create automatic mapping. I'm going to select one side, move and sew. Again, move and sew. As for these, I'm going to select the edges and move and sew again. And as for the top, I'm going to select these two edges. And here. Then fold. So for the frame, uh, I'm going to isolate this. Go to face mode. And I'm going to select the faces like this. Or maybe what we can do is I'm going to select the front faces and the back. Like this. And go to create planner mapping. They are facing the X axis. So project from X and apply. And now you can unfold. Now, as for this part, I'm going to select it, grow selection by pressing shift and the dot or full stop button on your keyboard or to create and planner project from Y and apply. Again, select this and unfold. Now, as for this part and this one, maybe we need to unwrap this one as well i'm going to grow the selection and again go to create planner from the y and unfold so now for the side faces
select the faces on the side like this repeat the same thing here so to create planner project from z apply and unfold like this and i think i'm going to select the face and make a selection like this grow the selection a little bit So this much should be fine. Go to create again planner, then unfold. Now everything is properly unwrapped. Um, layout and fix the rotation by using Orient Shell. Like everything and lay out one more time. For the row, I'm going to isolate this and first I'll go to top view, go to face mode, select everything and deselect the middle part. And I'm going to go to create, then planner mapping, project from x axis and apply then unfold and see if it works so this is working just fine i'll just use orient shell to fix the rotation and we are good to go now for this part i'll just add a cut anywhere we want like this and let's unfold orient shell and lay out everything turn on the checkers to see the distortion if everything looks fine then you are good to go so we have pretty much unwrapped everything now for the remaining part you can repeat the same process and i'm going to end this video here and if you need any help you can go to the description or you can click on the i button and find my UV unwrapping tutorial for beginners in which we I have explained every step that you need to start unwrapping any object in Maya. So I'm going to select everything, go to edit, delete by type history, and I'll prepare this model for Substance Painter and we're gonna texture it in next video. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, then make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.